YouTube is officially 10 years old already. <laughs> yep. Started out as a small but quickly became a video sharing platform that will become the third most popular website in the world. Digital journalist Bridget Carey and CBS contributor Nick Thompson take a look at a decade of YouTube. In 2005, on this date, the first YouTube video was uploaded. So here we are in front of the uh, elephants. It was one of the founders standing at the zoo talking about the length of an elephant's trunk. Really, really, really long um, trunk. And you watch that now and you don't think, man, world history will never be the same. Some of the earliest YouTube memories that we have are the viral videos that everyone talked about. Something like go? David goes to the dentist. I didn't feel anything. Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> Charlie, that really hurt. Technology made it so easy to upload anything to YouTube. It had this what we call a network effect in technology where it went from big to much bigger to much bigger to much bigger and it just grew exponentially and exploded. Ain't nobody got time for that. Anyone could be a star and there was no gatekeeper. It's made every human being accessible to every other human being and out of that there's a small number of people but kind of an amazing group of people who have become YouTube celebrities. You have Psy. Open Gangnam Style. Justin Bieber launched his career on YouTube. YouTube is mainly a place for fun. That's the way we think of it. But it's also a place for politics, both for good and for bad. There are terror videos that go up on YouTube. But there have been a lot of also very important political videos that go up on it. There have been videos from both sides in the Syrian civil war. There have been videos that have shaken up American politics. The President of the United States of America. Barack Obama is an example. A lot of the way Obama exploded was because he went viral on YouTube. About a year after they launched, they were bought by Google for $1.6 billion. Today we have some exciting news for you. We've been acquired by Google. The most Google has paid for anything up until that time. YouTube had a very laissez-faire approach to copyright. They basically said, put up everything. If somebody complains, take it down, but we're not going to screen, we're not going to look. And it was known as a place for pirated content, illegal content. When Google bought it, that was one of the central problems that Google had. Now YouTube has a reputation for protecting copyright as opposed to a reputation for piracy. The sheer size of YouTube makes it unlike anything on the web right now. There are one billion users on YouTube and 300 hours of video uploaded every minute. About half the traffic is coming from mobile. You would think for all of the content in YouTube, you'd just be making billions and billions and billions of dollars. But it's been a real struggle through most of its history for YouTube to make money. The future for YouTube is to continue being the great repository for all the world's weird stuff. It's also, they hope, a place where you'll go to watch more shows. They're tinkering around with subscription models, just like the way Netflix works. It's still the early days, but YouTube changed how we watch television 10 years ago. And it's still in the process of evolving today. Where will the next 10 years take us? What's your favorite? YouTube video? The Charlie. Oh, well, the first one that comes to mind is Charlie Bit My Finger. Yeah, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I mean, there's so many. How do you pick just one? I know. It's hard. But, but yeah, that's definitely the first one that comes that to my comes mind. comes to mind. Yeah. I like that. It's a recent one. I mean, recent, like three or four years ago. It's a little um, kid watching Beyonce's uh, put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. and. Oh, like yeah, with a, I mean, with a diaper? Yeah, with a diaper. <laughs> and sort of moving, and she's like doing like this, yeah, and he's absolutely. like jumping up and down. I really like But it's that become one. such a part of our daily lives. You know, whenever we have a question about something, oh, YouTube it. Kind of like, you know, I'll, I'll Google it. Right. Google it. And I know my kids, um, my daughter uses it to learn how to like braid, you know, like when she wants to braid her hair yeah. know, a certain way. She, she goes does onto that. YouTube. Absolutely. Yeah, guitar I lessons. use it if I don't know how to pronounce a name or a country or a city. Go right there. I type it in. YouTube's <laughs> awesome. Right well, our control room wanted to share their favorite video of the, ba of the day. This comes to us from Brazil. This guy has a 20 foot section of pipe going through his car. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Okay, did he just visit Home Depot? Is yeah, that what right? Happened? What is that? <laughs> Why is it so necessary to have such a large pipe in your car? Maybe he should have put it the, like, got some string and put it the other way. You yeah, know, the, maybe. Turned like, it and put it on top of his uh, roof. Sure, Moving pipe done right. <laughs> oh, I don't understand um, Portuguese, but I'm guessing they're saying, what are you yeah, what doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> oh, man. All right. More news in 90 seconds. This is CBSN.